Good evening, everyone. It works, yes. <laughs> okay, welcome along tonight to our junior primary concert. For those of you that uh, may have come at this morning at 10.30, you would have seen the students do the performance once. Tonight, this is their second time they're performing it and tomorrow night they'll be doing it again. Thank you so much for purchasing your tickets. That has been an attempt for us to not have quite so many people crowded into the church. But we didn't do quite well enough tonight. We still were running out of seats. But look, thanks a lot for coming. It's fantastic that you can support the students and I know that you will really enjoy what the students have prepared for you tonight. So sit back, relax and enjoy. You are about to take a journey to a place called Woodsville where the Wemex live. Wemex are small wooden people. A woodcarver named Dile made each one. His workshop sits on a hill overlooking their village. Every wooden person is different. Some have big ears, others have large eyes. Some are tall and others are short. <laughs> Some wear hats and others wear scarves. But we're all made by the same cover and live in the village. All day, every day, the wooden people do the same thing. They give each other stickers. Each Wemmick of Wizzle has a box of gold stars and a box of grey dots. Up and down the streets, all over the city, the wooden people can be seen sticking stars or dots on each other. The rich ones, those are smooth wood and fine paint, always get stars. <laughs> but if the wood is rough or the paint chipped, the wooden people give dots. The talented ones get stars too. Some can run so fast that they come first in the marathon. <laughs> Others can sing, dance or compete in competitions. Some know big words and always get 10 out of 10 in their tests. Everyone gives them stars. Some wear makes of stars all over them. Every time they get a star, it makes them feel so good that they do something else to get another star. Others, though, they can do a little. They get dots. Over here and a spot over there. Put a spot on your ear and a spot on your hair. Put a lot of little spots in the air. Everywhere it's a spotty kind of day. Put a spot over here and a spot over there. Put a spot on your ear and a spot on your hair. Put a lot of little spots in the air. Everywhere it's a spotty kind of day. Put a spot over here and a spot over there. Put a spot on your ear and a spot on your hair. Put a lot of little spots in the air. Everywhere 
It's a sporty kind of day. So while the Wemmicks went about their day, the Mayor of Woodsville was about to announce his plan. Here he comes now. Wemmicks of Woodsville, I have a grand announcement. It, it is time for a celebration. A celebration? What kind of celebration? A grand celebration? Yes, a grand celebration. Hooray! This Sunday, we'll, we will hold a star festival. Stars, stars, stars. Stars of what we reach for. The smartest, lucky, hands to get stars. The more you have, the more you want. So we will have a day to honour the women who has the most stars. Hooray! of the pavement again. <laughs> Giving up great up to what makes my stars feel better. Ofka, on behalf of the whole town, 
You deserve a dot for breaking the star trophy. Unless you can get a star by Sunday, you are sure to win the prize for the prize, prize for the winner who has the most dots. A star by Sunday. But that's a special about you, Offcut. You'll never get a star. <laughs> Here's a dot for being so well, Dotty. Maybe she'll get the hint and leave by Saturday. Leave and go where? Anywhere but here. She's just not star material. I know more dots. Stupid things never come off. If I could do something right, I could earn a star. Just look at all these stars. If only I could earn just one. Just not a very good one person. Oh, don't be too hard on yourself, Offcut. We all have more dots than stars. Yeah, we all just need to try extra hard to earn one star by, by Saturday. Well, I wonder if I bought that special wood fill paint. I'm covering my chips and earn a sticker. Well, your chips are who you are. That's why you're named Chip. Yeah, but they're also the reason I have so many grey dots. Hmm, I guess I could upgrade my wood to maple, like all the other women. That's the best wood in the forest. Willow is weak. No one wants to be made out of willow wood anymore. That's why I get so many grey dots. I want to earn a gold star too. What about you, of course? Don't you want to try hard to earn a gold star? Oh, it's no use. I want gold stars and I try, but I always roll and fall and can't help but getting grey dots instead. There has to be something you're good at, Mel, like, like Splinter. He can carry the most building blocks with his strong arms. He got a gold star last week for building the maze's new house. Yeah, but never when he shook my hand, I, I gave him a Splinter and then he gave me a grey dot. Yeah, but did you see the mayor's face? It's so funny. He cried like he was a baby. <laughs> Just look at us off cut. We're a dodgy bunch of friends, aren't we? We may not have stars, but at least we have each other. Get mm. woke.
Having wonderful friends always gave off car hope that things would be okay. All the dots still felt so heavy, even a thought of a gold Chinese star had off cut and daydream. Who's that? That's Oki. But perhaps Not a light of flame with him. Where's he going? He's probably gone to see Eli the scary woodcarver. The mayor says that the woodcarver is a giant who humongous saw the razor sharp teeth. I heard that the woodcarver is a monster. He just grind Wemmicks into wood shavings. I even heard the mayor say that the woodcarver can slice Wemmicks into thousands of trees. Guys, stop! You're making the splinters in my neck. Stand straight up! <laughs> well, worse, I heard anyone that talks to Oakden or goes near the woodcarver's house gets given a giant grey dot. Come on, I've got, you don't want a giant grey dot, do you? Come on, Oakden's coming this way. <laughs> Oh, ah. hello, I'm Ofka. Uh, yes, how did you know? Uh, you're the one that goes to see the giant scary woodcarver. You should probably stay away from there. If the mayor sees you go there... You give me giant grey dots. Yeah. Hang on. No dots. No stars. Just wood. How do you do that? Would you like to find out? I guess I would. Well, come with me to see the woodcarver. It'll help you. What are you doing here? Beware, loyal women. Oakden works for the woodcarver. He's not to be trusted. I am the one can, who can reward you with stars. The woodcarver will make you into in into a thousand toothpicks. Isn't that right, Offcott? Uh, uh, I don't know. I've never been to the woodcarver's house. Well, I have. Would you like me to tell you what Eli the woodcarver is really like? You know his name? <gasps> well, I never. <gasps> Dots don't stick either. Mayor, look, no dots and no stars. No dots? Well, that don't seem right. And that's the way I want it to be. Of course. What kind of Wemmick would you be without stars? Starless life is dark. Tell you what, you forget about all this oak and wood cover business and I'll, I'll make sure you get a star by Sunday. Man's honour. A star by Sunday? Well, off cut. Even if the wood cover could help you off cut with all your great dots, do you really think he's going to want to see you? <laughs> How do you do it, Oakton? 
is easy. What they think doesn't matter. Doesn't matter? Yeah. Kuna Matata. Akuna what? What? Kuna Matata. Go on, let me show you. Akuna Matata. What a wonderful phrase. Akuna Matata. Ain't no passing praise. It means no worries for the rest of your days. It's a problem free philosophy. Hakuna Matata. Hakuna Matata? Yeah, means no worries. Ready, guys! Hakuna Matata. Oakton knows Eli very well. He is sat in his workshop every day and knows a woodcarver can help Ofcut. Let's see if Ofcut's ready to lay down her worries at the woodcarver's do door. Ofcut, I've been to see Eli and he, Eli the woodcarver, and he showed me what's really important. Why don't you find out for yourself? Just follow the Olympic road over the hill. Okay, I'll follow the Olympic road. Decided. I don't want anyone's marks. I'm going to see Eli. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. Who said that? Follow the yellow brick road. 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 Who said that? I don't think I'm in Woodsville anymore. Maybe I should go another way. Oh, uh, so, um, sorry, I didn't see you there. That's okay, I'm the keeper of the yellow brick road. I'm off cut. Pleased to meet you, off cut. Do you know the way to the woodcarver's house? Of course, that's our job. We look after the road. It's a very busy job, you know. There's always people coming and going along this road. Follow the yellow brick road. 
But I must warn you, Offcut, the road to the woodcarver's house is not always easy. Beware of any shortcuts and the crocodile. <laughs> the crocodile? You'll be fine. Just keep on the right path. The road is longer and harder than Ofcard expected. Like off cut spats one important lesson while she stops and takes a rest. Wow, this road sure is longer than I expected. Maybe I'll stop and take a rest here. Sorry, I didn't see your nest there. Did I squash you one? I have so many dots for being so clumsy. Your dots are sure ugly. We don't like ugly ducks around here. Ugly ducks sit over there. was an ugly duckling with feathers all stubby and brown for in fact these birds in so many words said quack get out of town quack quack get out quack quack get out quack quack get out of town Ducklings are so mean that even told Offcut she should get out of town too. No, Offcut, stop! That crocodile is not. No, Offcut. 
I've got to stop. Stand firm and put your armour on. If you only listen to the ducks, you miss the beauty of the swans that are right in front of you. The swans spied the ugly duckling and very soon agreed, you're a very fine swan indeed. like the Wemmets of Woodsville. They are so worried about what, what they look like on the, in, on the outside, but they forget they can be pretty ugly on the inside. Those ducklings need a lesson on how to choose kind. Remember, Offcut, you don't have to be the same to fit in. Each Wemmick is special. Even you, just follow the yellow brick road and the woodcarver will help you. Okay, I'll follow the yellow brick road. <laughs> Wrong way, go back. Hmm. Hang on, this sign says the woodcarver's house is that way, but the yellow brick road goes this way. Which way should I go? You should go that way. Hello? Who said that? Oh, you could go that way. Oh, you could go both ways. Why, you did just say something. How can you talk when you're just a silly old scarecrow? Ah, well that's why I have all these stars, see? Stars? But Oakton says stars aren't important. Not important? Everyone needs stars. It's true, Offcut. We're just a bunch of helpful scarecrows helping Wemmicks find their way home. All you need to know is the stars that you possess prove whether or not you're the best. Take a look at all my stickers, even on my knickers, a hundred gold hats. With that, believe me, Dotty, to be looking out for Spotty if he only had a star. You don't mean you're so clumsy, you better cry home to Mumsy, you dots are grey and dim. With stars you can cover every form Plus the cluster if you only had a star Or a star My glass are right You would feel better with some gold Or a star is what we went to made for Go down this road It's filled with stars Take a look at all my stars. 
chicken, even a money can, a hundred gold to have. It's sad, believe me, Dr. Judy, look at all the spotty if you only had a star. You dogs me, you're so clumsy, you better cry home to Mumsy, the dogs are crazy. Stars, you can come red and warm, clumsy clutter if you only had a star. Oh, stars, make life so bright. You feel bad to win some gold. Oh, stars, what we went to made for? Go down this road, it's filled with stars. You just do good for nothing, the stars can change your life. You shine and be merry life would be a thing to dairy if you only had a soul. Stars are what you really need. What kind of difference will you ever make without them? I'm already different. Don't you want to have lots of gold? But Oakton said. Perhaps Oakton is trying to lead you down the wrong road. Sure, the yellow brick road will take you to the woodcover's house, but look how long and narrow it is. This way it looks much easier. It's a shortcut. Come on, follow us. Hmm. <laughs> I'm confused. I don't know. I don't know which way to go to get the woodcarver's house. Sh should I trust um, those scarecrows or should I um, follow Eli? Oh, help! Help! I need help. Looks like Offcut is at a crossroads. What would you do? Trust in the hope of something better, or take the easy path? Good thing Offcut has asked for help. Help is always at hand to those that ask. In a fix, in a bind, call on us anytime. Mass detectives at your service. Sweet. What seems to be the problem? I'm confused. Yes, I don't know which way to go to get to the woodcarver's house. Well, then why are you confused? Just follow the yellow brick road. I know, but look at this sign. It says the woodcarver's house is that way. Looks like someone's trying to trick you. There's only ever been one way to the woodcarver's house. Follow the yellow brick road. We'll get, we'll get you back on the right track. Mice, secure the case and find the evidence.
Mice, what evidence did you find? We dusted the street sign and found fingerprints. The mouse detector says these are the fingerprints of the mayor of Wood Woodsville. The mayor? Yeah. We found these stars too. The serial number on the back says these are also the property of the mayor of Woodsville. The mayor? Looks like the mayor really doesn't want you going to see the woodcarver. He's got a hundred gold stars, you know. He says the more stars you have, the closer you are to being the Best. Don't you know the woodcarver counted every chisel in your wood? You are worth more to him than all the stickers in the world. Eli will show you. Just follow the yellow brick road. Mice, our job here is done. It is you. Everyone said that you, the woodcarver grinded you into thousands of shavings and your strings used to tie his shoes. Well, I've got you sure have a crazy imagination. I'm on my way back from the woodcarver's house, just the way I went in, except for... Dotty! You've lost your dots. Those were mixed needed to laugh at my strings. I've realised what makes me special is strings and all. But how? They are a gift from Eli. They weren't meant to make me feel like a budget model. They weren't meant to weigh me down or make me feel like a budget model. I only felt that way because... The other women gave me dots and told me so. <laughs> so dots are the real strings. Dots will only weigh me down if I net them. Yes. Dots will only dots stop you from seeing who you really are. We choose kind not stickers.
You see, I've cut dot, dot stopped you from seeing who you really are. They do feel heavy. Stars get heavy, but once you get one, you end up wanting more and more. Dots get heavy because of the words that stick to them. <laughs> Look how these marks have even changed your name. Oh, if you care too much what others think, you end up becoming someone who you're not. For example, my name is Dotty. My name is Tornillo, not Dotty. And yours is Moranti, not Offcut. It's been a long time since someone's called me Moranti. Look how these marks have even changed your name. You are special like us. You just haven't realised what makes you special yet. But when you do, you'll be able to do great things. Just on the yellow brick road. Tornillo means it, but I've been ordinary for so long. Matt, do gifts have used by date? Maybe what makes me special has expired. Well, hello, sir, stranger. You look a little sad. <sighs> well, my name is Theodore and this is Pine and we are very pleased to meet you. I'm Ofka. I mean, my real name is Moranti. Well, nice to meet you, Moranti. What have we got there? Oh, these are the decorations for the festival. <sighs> you should be happy, not sad, for the festival starts tomorrow. I've decided I'm not going. Not, not going. going? But everyone's invited. Here you are, Ofcar. Where have you been? We've been looking for you everywhere. Wait for me, guys. You know my wood is hard and heavy. It makes it difficult to keep up with you guys. Oh, Chip, you're always getting dots for being so slow. Off oh, what are you doing all the way out here? Um, the festival's tomorrow and you still don't have any stars. Yes, Off oh, there's no time to waste. If you don't earn a star soon, everyone will cool laugh at you forever. Why would they laugh at you? Just look at all our dots. Her wood is covered in them. Look, off cut. I got I got a star for upgrading my wood to maple. Now I'm like all the other Wemmicks. Look, I got a look. I got a star too for sanding back my wood. Feel that smooth as sawdust, soft as sawdust. <laughs> <laughs> you changed the way you were made for a sucker. Wouldn't you, if every dot made your wood heavier and heavier? So come on, I've cut. There's still time. Are you sure you need those stars for the festival? Well, it is the star festival. Do you know the one day where all of Woodsville celebrates the giving and receiving of stars? The more stars you have, the better you are, but too many dots won't off cut the most dots award. It's true. Each Dot was given to me to remind me of how imperfect I look with all my off-cut parts. The dots on my knees are to remind me of how clumsy I am. And the dots on my head are to remind me that I always forget my hat. A starless life is very dark, off-cut. You'll never be a good woman if the only, if the only stickers you have are grey dots. Woodsville sounds like a silly place. What kind of festival is that? All of you are just the way you should be. We will be when we've earned enough star speed and are running for the star trophy. Come on, Splinter, let's go. I guess we'll see you later, Off Cup. <laughs> 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 
Wait, wait for me. Oh, stupid dots, I need some stars to lighten my wood. Look in your reflection, Offcut. What do you see? Uh, lots of dots. Is the only reflection that really matters? You can't see the one on the outside. What really matters is in the inside. It's in your heart. Women should be caring for each other, not judging each other. A good women should always choose kind. But I thought you said you were going to the festival. You have got a box of cool decorations. Where we come from tomorrow is the Choose Kind Festival. In Pinesville we celebrate life, not stars, there's no trophies or rewards. We're just happy to be, and best of all, we're family. I like the sound of Pinesville. Woods will be a much better place if everyone's like the Wemmicks of Pinesville. Maybe they just need someone who cares enough to show them how to choose kind, not stickers. Maybe some like you. Me? Maybe that's what makes you special. I don't know. Well, why don't you go ask? Well, you we have come all this way, haven't you? You must have courage and persistence, Ofka. I do? Well, why don't you go ask Eli, the woodcarver? We love to live close to Eli. His house is just over the lake and around the corner. Over the lake and around the corner? I can't believe I finally made it. Thank you. Nice, nice to meet you. Around the corner and over the lake. Oh, how am I meant to get across? There's no boat. Guess I could try swimming. Hmm. Oh, Ofka, I can help you. Uh. Over here, that's it. Come closer. I know how you can get across the lake. How? I can take you, you can sit on my back and I'll carry you across. Oh, well, I don't know, well. If you swim in the lake, you sink for sure. You're made of wood, aren't you? And all those dots must make you very heavy. As soon as you're into the lake, you will sink to the bottom forever. Well, I suppose. No, I've got to stop. That crocodile is not telling you the truth. He may seem friendly, but inwardly, he's as ferocious as a wolf. He's no friend of the woodcarvers, and he wants to destroy him and anybody trying to cross the lake to see him. It's not true. I'm just a poor little crocodile. No, he's not. Uh-oh. Who are you? We are the bakers of Woodsville, and this crocodile is not to be trusted. Why? One day, I had the chefs make the gingerbread, two dozen gingerbread. I put them in the oven to bake. When they were done, I opened up the oven. Out ran the gingerbread, over the hills to this very lake. When then this crocodile told the gingerbread he would take them over the lake. When they were halfway across the lake, wait, then the foolish gingerbread agreed. When they were halfway across the lake, the crocodile gobbled them up. <gasps> Okay. 
Don't be taken away by his welcome. He's imagining how well he fit with him. His skin never smart. Away with you, crocodile. You have no power here. But I still have no way to get across the lake. Do you really think the woodcarver would prevent you from getting closer to him as he has given you everything you need to get across the lake? He has. You see that bluebird? Faith is like a bluebird. You see from afar, it is as real and as sure as the first evening star. You can touch it, buy it, or wrap it up tight. It's there, just the same. You just have to believe it. Okay, I'll give it a try. Look, Oakton, I'm floating. Of course you are, you're made of wood. <laughs> oh, well, I made it. Bye. Safe travels. Welcome to my house. Lay your burdens at my door and I shall give you rest. Oh no, I see drills, saws, razors. I hope this isn't a bad idea. Hello, Maranti. Uh, you know my name? Of course I do. I made you. Come here and sit with me. Oh, looks, looks like you've been given to bad marks. I, I, I tried to, I tried hard. Uh, you don't have to defend yourself with me. I don't care what other women think and you shouldn't either. You don't? No, who are they to give stars and dots? They're women, just like you. It doesn't matter what they think, it only matters what I think, and I think you're pretty special. Me? Special? Even though I am a bit clumsy? You're special because you're mine. Every day I'm hoping that you'd come. I came because I met Oakton, and he had no stars and no dots. I know, Oakton told me all about you. Why don't stickers stick to him? Because he had decided what I think is more important than what they think. The stickers only stick of you that them. I don't think I understand. The stickers only stick if they matter to you. The more you trust my love, the, the less you care about their stickers. I'm not sure I understand. You oh. will, but it will take some time. You have lots of marks. Just come and see me every day so that I can, I can teach you how to choose kind instead of stickers. Remember, oh. you're special because you're mine and I don't make mistakes. Well, thanks, Eli. You know, I think he really means it. Of course he does. We are his. How about next time we visit Eli together? That's a great idea. There's always room for more on the road. And so ends our tale. We thank you all for coming and we hope that Offcut's hard-earned lesson reminds you of three things. That regardless of how the world evaluates you, God cherishes each of you just as you are. That you are made unique for a reason. And life becomes a little less heavy when we all choose kind.
Well, well done, students, for a wonderful performance. Let's put our hands together one more time for them. Well done, guys. OK, as you can appreciate, just waiting, students. As you can appreciate, a lot of time and effort and energy has gone into the performance. And I would like to take this opportunity to thank Mrs Susie Crow, our music teacher, and the classroom teachers who have worked hard. When you think that these students are just reception to grade three, it really is an amazing performance that they've put together. So thank you to the staff and the SSOs that have worked hard in supporting all the students. Let's give them a hand for The message that the ch children have spoken about tonight is the theme for our school for this year. And the theme is Choose Kind. And we know that as we choose kind, we help to make this world a better place. We'd just like to invite you to bow your heads for prayer as we finish our night. Dear Jesus, we thank you that you are the one that puts it within our hearts to choose kind and to respect and care for one another. Please, we thank you, Lord, for the, the performance tonight and what the students have done. And we just want to thank you. They all have such amazing talents and that they can use that to serve you. Please be with us tonight, Lord, and help us as we head on our homeward way in your name. Amen. Okay, the children are going to...